This was a miracle to me. Sometimes I have the feeling that it's not me who controls what it's going to be, but the painting itself. Another thing that changed in the city is that it became much more international. Finally, there's someone who understands the character of this neighborhood. Um, the street was very different than it is now. Many of the shops and the houses that you see nowadays were closed. It was more raw. The first years when I started here, for instance, every day, uh, we sit outside and we just invited everyone. So we were sitting outside and we would share our wine, our food with everyone who would pass by. Um, so there was a lot of exchange. This was also the time when there were no mobile phones. Internet itself just started to pop up. So we were still old school organic. And to me, that's very important. The organic part of life is of the essence. I think many of the uh, digital realms or artificial intelligence influences should just be tools and nothing more. And so over the years, the street started to change a bit. So some people saw the energy and I think I have to do with it because it was a very positive vibe and started to open up little shops around. And then the atmosphere changed a bit in the, in the street, a um, bit more formal, so less free, let's say more and more galleries started to arrive, which was nice, I think. It's a different energy than mine, because most galleries are more like, it's a formal way of connecting to art. Many people I noticed over the years as well, felt a little awkward to step into a gallery, not sure if they know enough about art to ask anything about the works they see, not sure if they have the money to buy it, because usually it can be quite expensive. And so to me, I started to see the truth about my space, because my space is about openness. I don't want you to feel hmm, afraid to talk to me. Well, in the beginning years, let's say the first 10 years, people would just pass by the shop, for instance, or my paintings, and look at them for a few minutes or something. And, you know, really observing and taking it inside. And what you see now is they pass by, especially the younger generation, they have the phone already in their hand, and they go like, they see the work, they see the painting, so they pick the phone, take the photo, and they leave like this. <laughs> Amsterdam locals, or Jordaan locals, we call them Jordanese, they have their heart on their tongue. So they say it as it is. It may not be the truth, they may have no um, <laughs> knowledge about anything, but they will give you an opinion about it nevertheless. And so when I arrived here, and when I started to put my chairs in front of my atelier, the old people here, that are the original Jordanese, they started to compliment me. They said, finally there's someone who understands the character of this neighborhood. Because we are like this. We live in the street, we hang out our windows to scream, to make jokes, uh, to fight. So when I did that, I reintroduced it in this part of, let's say, the street. I don't know, maybe even the bigger region, I'm not sure. I'm the only one, I think, but anyway, one of the very, very few here that has a direct connection to the locals. To me, it's of the most value that, let's say, one of the elderly Jordanese people passes by, starts a little chit-chat, in the meantime looks at my work, has some comment about it, doesn't feel afraid that he doesn't know anything about art or art history or color or anything for that matter, and just shares their being with me. I hope to be, anyway, one of the pieces of the chain that connects the old character <laughs> to the 2.0 new character.